The hybridization attempts made by my cat with the laptop. An old Aspire 1 netbook failed. Organic liquids rich in ammonia that invaded the internal electronic components through the USB port, corroded some metal components, putting out many features of the notebook and impregnating everything with Chanel number no. 666, made from cat urine. Therefore I had to completely disassemble the notebook to get rid of the oxide and reactivate the electrical contacts, but in the haste I forgot to reconnect the loudspeakers. So having to take it apart again, I took the opportunity to make this video, which in principle can represent a generic procedure to disassemble any notebook. Maybe for a repair or a hardware upgrade, RAM increase, replacement of mass memories, replacements of Wi-Fi modules, etc. The netbook in question, having very low consumption and being compact, I use it as a small forklift for a Nextcloud home cloud. As shown in a previous video see the annotation with the link at the top right. After identifying the screws on the back and unscrewing them, I remove the keyboard simply by acting on the three stops. And unhooking the flat cable from the connector, after lifting the catch. I locate and unscrew the screws underneath from the keyboard. I unhook the flat cable from the touchpad connector, after lifting the catch. I separate the two parts of the body. I remove the card with the audio connectors and USB ports. Undo the antenna connectors on the Wi-Fi module. I remove the Wi-Fi card. I disconnect the flat display connector from the motherboard. I take out the motherboard. Here is the connector of the internal speakers that I had forgotten to connect to the motherboard. I unscrew the display hinges from the body and release them. I remove the internal loudspeakers. Smonto Lahar disk. Here is an effect of the oxidation caused by ammonia that managed to pierce the aluminum. Hard drive protective jacket. I extract the RAM memory bank after releasing the latches. I remove the BIOS buffer battery.
Previously to remedy the damage caused by the cat's body fluids. Containing ammonia, I cleaned all contacts and electronic parts. With an electric reactivating spital, an old toothbrush and absorbent paper. Reassemble everything following the same steps as for disassembling, but in reverse order. To avoid making mistakes, it is always advisable to catalog screws and components during disassembly. In the way you prefer so as not to make mistakes during reassembly. And speed up the operation, I simply divided them into small groups on the table. If the intent is to improve the performance of the notebook by doing a hardware upgrade, Obviously it will be necessary to replace the old components with the new ones and proceed with the assembly. Thanks for watching the video so far. I decline any responsibility for any damage to people, animals and things that may have occurred. To those wishing to follow the procedure which is for entertainment purposes only. I hope I have been helpful and pleasantly entertained you. If you haven't already, comment, share, like, give a super thank you and subscribe to the channel. I plug in the power cord and try to access the netbook. The Linux Debian operating system loaded successfully. And all the peripherals seem to work perfectly, while the cat has been entrusted to loving care. By the cat expert of, possessed cats, on, real time, Kanali31. Thanks for the support. Bye bye.